Hello. Hey. Well, if it isn't little Gohan, you're looking fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, they're out looking for someone. Someone? Yes, Launch. She's the young woman that used to live here. No one's heard from her in quite some time now. She left here and went after Tien, but I was starting to worry she might have gotten herself mixed up in the fight against the Saiyans. So I asked Krillin and the others to go out looking for her in the area where the fight took place. But, well... Did something happen? Possibly. I just saw a young woman that looks a lot like Launch on a news report from West City. I'm waiting for Krillin and the others to get back so I can tell them to head there next. Oh, well, I can go there if you like. Really? <laughs> That'd be great! You can't miss her. She's got full-bodied curly blue hair. A real beauty. Her outfit leaves little to the imagination. I can still picture her tank top, shorts, her curves. <laughs> Just thinking about her is getting me all riled up. Ahem, what else? Oh, yes, her personality. She's a very calm, sweet person. Calm and sweet. Got it. Okay, I'm off to find her.
like this is really exciting. Jerking me around. P please don't do this. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Blue hair, same outfit that Master Roshi described. That's probably lunch. Looks like she's arguing with some people. You punks are messing with the wrong girl here. I said fork it over, so fork it over. You hear me? Well, it's just... What's going on? Guess I'm just gonna have to pump you rats full of lead then. Ah! Uh-oh! Launch is in trouble! Stop! Huh?
Are you all right? Oh, okay. Who the hell are you? You're pretty tough for a pint-sized punk. You kind of sort of remind me of Goku. Huh? Wait, how do you know my dad? Huh? You're Goku's kid? What? What the hell are you doing here? These bozos stole my map, and I'm trying to get it back. What? D did you really? Um, uh, well... All right, that's it. Keep this dumb act up and bam, you're gonna get it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I guess I wasn't thinking. Wait, so you're not launch? What? Jeez, I'm launch. What? But I was told she has blue hair. It's complicated, kid. Now shut the hell up and give me the stupid map. Um, do, do you think you can find it in your heart to forgive me? Screw you! Get out of here before I send you packing myself! Ah! <laughs> Bunch of no-good chumps. Whatever! At least I got my map back! <laughs> Sorry for butting in like that! Whatever. I'm over it. As long as I got this map, I could finally figure out where he lives. He? He keeps jumping all over the place for his training. I've been chasing nothing but rumors till now. Uh, oh, I see. Now this time, I'm gonna make sure he falls in love with me. Hold on tight, buddy. I'm coming for you. Oh, there she goes. I guess I better head back and let Master Roshi know what happened. Hmm? What are you talking about? Launch came back not too long ago. Huh? Wait, but... Oh, did someone call for me? What? Oh, you must be the boy Master Roshi's been talking about. You're Goku's son, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Launch. Y you're Launch? But the woman I met before had blonde hair. Oh, uh, that's the other me. People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. And my hair turns blonde, I guess. Oh, your personality changes? Hard to believe, right? I think it might be some sort of condition I have. That might actually be the best way to describe it. Ah, I remember. That's what I forgot to tell you earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> I really hope the other me didn't cause you too much trouble. She can be a bit harsh sometimes. <laughs> uh, no. I'm just surprised to see you here, since she said something about going to look for someone. Right. When I came to, I was near West City and I had no clue what was going on. And so I decided to come here. I see. Oh, I know. Why don't I cook something nice as a thank you for dealing with the other me? It's the least I could do. I've been wanting to try out a few recipes for a while now. Yes, I think that's a great idea. We can all eat together. Oh, okay.
You're doing a lot better. That was pretty impressive, finding launch like that. Seriously. <laughs> oh, and make sure to let Bulma know you're doing okay as well. She's been worried too. You know, it might be kind of nice living here again. As long as I don't sneeze, that is. Having lunch here really livens the place up, don't you think? I'd like to head to Bulma's. It's kind of late right now. Back already? That's so. If you have time before Bulma finishes her spaceship, you might as well get some studying in. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, Planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek.
Sean, is that you? Oh, perfect. You're just the person I wanted to talk to. So listen, it's about the spaceship. The, the spaceship? Uh, are you sure you want to talk to me about that? Yep. If you've got some time, do you think you could meet me here at Capsule Core in West City? Oh, sure. I'll be there soon. What could she want to talk about? I guess I'd better head to Capsule Corporation to find out. Holding out for hope on Planet Namek. Maybe... Maybe the spaceship's ready for takeoff. She wanted to talk to me specifically. I'm not sure I'll be of much help, though. <laughs> Huge bonus places. the person I was looking for. Huh? What's up, Bulma? We're gearing up to go to Namek, right? I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there. But I'm short on parts. Oh, bummer. With Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages. You're the only one left for the 